Hi, this is Jeannie from Tip32. Okay, uh, we moved to Buffalo like two years ago, and somebody asked me to go to one of the local restaurants and have buffalo chicken wing soup, which I never heard of. So I went, I tasted it, I tried to recreate it, it came out pretty good. And then the girl across the street says, I got this great chicken buffalo dip, which we went for a party and it was really good. So it inspired me for this macaroni and cheese. Uh, buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese. Okay, so here's how we do it. It's very simple. We're gonna do, um, I have half cup of celery, half cup of onion. All right, that's gonna go in our pan. And this is two tablespoons of oil, just as so we can saute it. And it's gonna saute just till tender. It doesn't have to be brown. The oven's got a little bit of a knack to it, but we're gonna put it on a little low and let it, you know, soften up and get tender because we don't want it to be real crunchy in our macaroni. Okay, now we're gonna work on the sauce. Now, you can do a bechamel, which is, you know, a very nice and uh, technical way to do things, but we're going to cheat. So the thing is, you get your favorite cream of mushroom soup, and you're going to put that in. Your favorite cheddar cheese soup, we're going to add that. Okay. Then we have here one cup of chicken broth. I'm going to add one cup, a half and half to that. Okay, so we're totaling two cups. We're going to add that. Okay, really easy, simple stuff. You can get the chicken broth from the store. We're going to stir it a little bit. We're going to put this on the stove. And before we do it, we're gonna add, we're gonna add our chicken. Everything's gonna go at the same time. Our chicken is about a cup and a half, one cup of blue cheese. If you don't like a lot of blue cheese, put less. If you like it, then leave it where it is or add more. We have a cup and a half of cheddar cheese, okay? And then the magic hot sauce is one third of a cup. One third of a cup might seem like a lot but it's really not it's giving it good spice if you like less use less and if you want it spicier certainly use more and then we're going to put this on the stove and we're going to bring it to a nice uh, melty simmer in the meantime i'm going to just move my veggies around a little bit if you're not comfortable doing this, that's okay. You just get something and stir. Let me turn it down a little. Okay, now we're just going to keep stirring this. We really want to keep our eye on this because there's a lot of cheese in there. It's not going to take long. Once it's all together, it's, it's really a, a, a quick macaroni and cheese. It's just prep time. Okay, I want to add in the spices. I just put them in the same bowl. I have a half a teaspoon of salt, uh, garlic powder, and onion powder. I'm going to add it to the mix. Stir it in and get it all. gets good flavor. Okay, now to thicken the sauce up, I just want to add a little cornstarch. Uh, the cornstarch is going to give it a little more body and that way it's going to cling to our macaroni much better. So what I have here is three tablespoons of cornstarch. They're going to measure out one tablespoon of water. And I want it to be cold water because if it's hot water, it's going to coagulate and... Okay, so you want it to be, you know, soupy. Uh, a little on the thick side. 
You can put one or one and a half tablespoons of water, you know, make it just so it, it, it looks like this. Okay. All right, we're going to add that to our sauce and we're just going to stir. It's going to thicken up. So you want this sauce to be warm so that the cornstarch has a, a chance to uh, coagulate and this way you'll have a nice creamy sauce. Okay, these are our peppers and onions. They're just tender. They're, they're not brown. They're just tender. I'm going to add them. So this is going to be our little bit of a crunch that's going to go with the buffalo chicken. Remember, you, it's usually so, served with uh, celery and we're just going to put it in there for a little texture and crunchiness. And now you see everything's starting to thicken. It's starting to coat the back of the spoon or the spatula. And then we're just going to add it to our pasta. This is one bag of pasta. I'm going to add half and set it down because uh, I don't want to get burnt. And it's just tossed in. And remember, we're going to bake it, so it's going to thicken up even more in the oven. And we're going to bake it on 350 for about 45 minutes. And I'm going to show you how we're going to finish it. All right, just to finish it off, uh, we're going to add it to our Pyrex. You can put it in any casserole dish you have. Mine's a little small, so I'll probably make two dishes, so that's okay. I have a little extra. I'm going to do is I'm going to also add an extra half a cup of cheddar cheese because I really want it nice and ooey and gooey. And then I'm going to add panko breadcrumbs also to the top. Just enough to cover them. A little paprika. And that's it. We're going to bake. Okay. It's going to go in the oven. Okay. 45 minutes. Let's see what we got. I actually had one bacon in there. So you'll notice the pan is a different shape. Because I was trying to, you know, let you see just how it's going to be really looks good nice and cheesy let's see we're gonna cut it nice very creamy let's try it I know again I'm gonna burn my mouth up because this is hot wow look at the steam okay got a nice bite to it. It's got cheesiness, a little bit of crunch from the celery and the panko. I think you really like it. Be sure to be with us. Um, join us on our channel. Uh, follow us, uh, tip32.com.